Hello everyone. It's been a while that I wasn't able to share with you God's promising words through Bible verses in the midst of this threatening pandemic. Yet, always remember, His promises never fails. Even this world stops its orbital routine. God's promising words just get even more real as we hope for it. We will see the hands of the one who was in control of everything that is happening around. We have no way to run or to go or turn to, but to him that has everything that you have ever wanted or imagined. And he has the power to make things done right away because he is omniscient. Even the most feared virus in our time is no much because he is in control of all these things. Just believe and you will see. So Christians who are with me this morning, don't fret or even in despair on why this fearsome virus is still here, though we eagerly prayed against it. Bear in mind that as long as the hearts of the human beings in this world do not conform with the plan of God, this virus will not just simply disappear. This world needs to acknowledge and understand fully the complete revelation of God's plan and why He lets this virus continue to linger around. We have not even experienced the plagues, remember, that we are poured upon Egypt during those years. So don't fear, Christians, brothers and sisters, with the ongoing pandemic. Because as long as we confidently know that there's the blood in our doorpost, we will be protected and be spared from all of these atrocities. As it was in the time of Moses, when he delivered them out of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The same blood as the shadow of Jesus' death on the cross will protect you, will protect me, our families, our loved ones, as long as we are in the house sealed and protected by the love and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Which is why he said, as our verse for today, Psalm chapter 46, verse 10, be still. This is a very, very common verse. You know this and you memorize this. I know it. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Bear in your hearts and mind today that God who created this universe is the God that will protect you and me and all of us against our fears, including this present pandemic. And at the end of this dark tunnel that we are encountering right now, not only here in America, but all over the world, let's pray for them. Let's pray for one another. At the end of this, there is that God whose face will shine all throughout the earth. He will be exalted when these trials are gone and done. Therefore, have peace, my brothers and sisters. Shh, be quiet. Stay safe in the arms of God. He's still doing something for you, for me, and all humanity. Believe and you will see in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good day. See you sometime.